Welcome Wardens and Wardettes. Welcome back from the weekend holiday. Well, NBA Finals, we're finally here. Phoenix Suns and the Milwaukee Bucks. Pretty sure everybody got their bid in to which way they think this series is gonna go. Me personally, of course, the Phoenix Suns, that would be my place of bet to win it all, but we will see. Uh, this first game will be without Giannis. Hopefully you can get back soon, because when it comes down to a finals, you don't want no excuses whatsoever. So we'll see how this one's gonna turn out. And now introducing your Phoenix Suns. Hope everybody got filled up on all that barbecue or whatever you cooked over the holiday. Enjoy the festivities, the fireworks, everything that was uh, put into it. And hopefully we can have a good game and no blowout. Hopefully this one can go down to the crunch time. We're about six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I would say Phoenix will win this opener at home. They're coming off with a lot of energy and drilling. They've been sitting back waiting and watching for a game or two. No Giannis, so, and they're playing home. So it's a pretty safe bet to say they could pull this game out. Searching for his first title. He came close in Houston, but was traded, and by some was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez is out there with PJ Tucker. Then it's holiday. Then it's getting ready to get this one Chenzo underway. And for the Suns, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Andre Ayton out there with Jake Crump. And it's Paul in at the one spot. All teams tonight, Greg, love to push the ball up the floor, even off made shots. You know, trying to find an opening before the half court D can set up. I think you're going to see more and more of that. And we're underway. Passes it to Crump. Kicks it to Bridges. Paul outside. Let's it go. Oh, nice. Jab into the three. Milwaukee will come the other way. And Holiday has it in the corner. And the rejection by Eaton. Boy, really tough. Covering that paint early. Give it up. Here we go. Definitely don't want to get this crowd into it in a fast pace up and down game. That's money. Got to keep them out of transition. Side holiday. Come here, come here. Three straight misses to begin the game, not the start they were hoping for. And the wide open shot from Paul kept alive. Count it. This guy has got, got it for two. Seven zero early. Passes to Holiday. 
the run. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two foot the free throw line. Chris Paul picks up that. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Holiday at the line. That free throw good from Drew Holiday. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. I don't know if Gigi Senzo is going to be able to keep up with Booker. We're going to see. But I don't think he has what it takes to slow him down. Before it's over, they're going to have to. And Middleton? It's the layup. Yeah, he's going to need a lot of help to contend with Booker. But in the game of switching defenses, pretty sure the whole starting five will have an opportunity to guard him. Establishing the attitude you want. And just under two and a half minutes. Uh oh, watch out, Tucker. Gonna put a big rain drop on your head. Definitely needed that timeout. This one's already looking a little ugly. Eleven to two early, early in this first quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Milwaukee hasn't touched the surface yet. Here's DiVincenzo on the wing, Holiday, and he finishes nice. Back up with Holiday. it and it's good. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Ball passes to Crowder. Booker the bounce pass. Good double team. Shoots from the elbow. They grab their own miss. Well, you're going to double, double team and don't allow him to get back for the offensive rebound. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Holiday against Paul. Middleton for three. And it's Phoenix. Too strong at the back of the rim. And Phoenix is looking to run. Now here's Paul. No points in the game yet for him. Here's the three. Another three. He's got it. So you double team eight. He's going to bring it out to his open shooters. I think that's a part of his game he wants to improve on. Just passing out of those double teams. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. 
And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. A nice shot by Booker. How about the nice and deep. Mr. Booker put it back with a three-point answer. DiVincenzo kicks to Middleton. Lopez outside. Oh. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on eight. For Milwaukee, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Two, two. I'll leave Lopez alone on these free throws. That's good from Lopez. He's healthy. Brooke Lopez is someone you have to get. I can wait on my split. This is a huge presence on the floor who uses his length, his size to great advantage. Both shots good from a strike. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Paul passes to Book. Lets it fly from 18. Good shot. But that's the matchup I would want. I would want Middleton guarding Booker. Has a little more length to him. Better defense than DeVincenzo. Booker against DeVincenzo. Oh, good one, Bridges. Block that ball from the back of his head. There you go, push that ball. More good defense. It's tipped. Stolen by Holiday. Go, get crit. The 17 footer. Basket good. That was sweet. Five points in the game. Walked right into that jump shot. One of Milton's shots is a smart one. Even from mid range, he's not going to force anything. Paul passes to Booker. That's tipped. And it's the Bucks on the break. Middleton for three. It's He's got it. Try a little bit of defense. Mixed with some fast break. Get easy buckets. Over Lopez. No good from Booker. Bucks trail by seven. Here's Steven Chesson. There you go. Time out. Milwaukee trying to get a little run. 21-16, 5-24 remaining in the first quarter. Milwaukee says, not so fast. They just also have more exposure and opportunity to be around one another. Kids today growing up, they've been playing against each other since the fifth, sixth grade in national tournaments. When we played, we didn't get to see the other top players around the country. So I think that was one reason why you didn't have a closeness with guys that unless you were on the same team. So for the Suns, Sharch comes in for Crowder and Cameron Payne subbed in for Chris Paul. Milwaukee also making some changes. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Teagan for Drew Holiday. Now here's Aiton. Eight points for him. They get the in and out. Charge. And the rebound. Sarge got the offensive rebound. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly and for sure, Milwaukee want to win this. They have to protect the glass. Aiton's enough. You can't allow somebody else to sneak in. And get offensive rebounds. And they're not even getting back. Well, quick transition has Bridges positioned perfectly. Puts the nice finish on the transition opportunity. Here's T. Payne grabs the board. 
Another guy besides Chris Paul that I'm glad and proud of getting the opportunity to win a chip will be that Drew Holiday. He's got a little body of work himself. So him getting the opportunity to win one, it'd be great for him. Lucky he got that because T, you passed that ball way too late out of a double team. P.J. Tucker been opening that paint. Middle's wide open. Quick shot. Tough shot. Just caught that twist and turned around and dropped it. To the line for two. Good strong move. Bridges had a bad angle. Let him get to that left hand all the way to the rim. Yet even now it feels like some people continue to sleep on it. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Kaminsky comes in for DeAndre and Langston Galloway subbed in for Mikael Bridges. The box also changing up. Bobby Portis comes in for Brooke Lopez. And Ami Takumbo subbed in for PJ Tucker. And that's the goal for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Booker against Ami Takumbo. There you go. You got to stay in front of him. No good, for good defense by little brother five of the Greek freak. Devin Booker in the third year of that five-year $158 billion contract. Coming off his first all-star selection and his most efficient scoring season. Man, it's hard to imagine what's coming next. I think, Greg, he's desperate to make the playoffs, right? He's doing his part. He's improving on the Okay, Booker's feeling it early. They definitely have to locate him. Now it's all about can he create team success. And here is Teague. And for Devin Booker getting his shot to go from team. No good. 144 left in the first quarter of the game. Charge dishes to paint. Booker trying to free himself up and there's paint. That's good on the assist by Sharks. And it's a 12-point Suns lead. Milwaukee's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. With the floater and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Made sure he wasn't gonna lift his arms above his shoulders on that drive. First one drops. It's been a long time since both of these teams were even in a finals. Mm -hmm. 
New blood. You gotta love it. Middleton hits them both. 124 left in the first quarter. Game passes to Kaminsky. Inside. Sharks. And slam dunk by Sharks. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Here is Forbes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Middleton. After Forbes. Good kick out. Forbes got to make him pay. This comes out. And out of the combo, lays it up and in. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. It's a 10-point game. Love that one. Booker's got 15 points. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to Yeah, he's looking too good. Too good, too early. Nice ball movement by Noah. Middleton is doubled. Back to Portis. I don't blame him. I would double him every time myself. I mean, who's going to make you pay? Who's going to shoot besides him? 17 points in the game. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Middleton against Booker. My goodness. Did you see him just wind that clock down, get what he wants? 40 to 29, end of first quarter. All Phoenix early. Start of the second quarter. Both key guys from each team have started out hot. Another double team. Now here's Portis. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Pocket six. There you go, Forbes. You got to make him pay this time. He's got it. It really helps their team so much with Middleton's passing with effectiveness. And it helps him out as a scorer. He's that much harder to defend. Here's Payne. It's stolen by T. And here we go. T heading to the hoop. And it's slammed in by T. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the impact stop. And let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And so here's Phoenix. After the basket by Milwaukee. Count the bucket. Bobby and Portis gets beat to the well. back cut. That's going to send Dario Sharch to the free throw line. It's on Bobby Portis. <laughs> and Dario Sarge. We didn't have Sarge had the foot Philly. speed to back cut on anybody. For this team. You know what I love about Dario is here's a big man who can space the floor with his shooting. He can balance that with an ability to make plays off the dribble. He's a really sneaky cutter and a very opportunistic Oh, he's shown it there. I mean, this is sneaky a cutter indeed. In a lot of different areas. in New York, you obviously played in a number of championship contending teams. What do the Knicks have to do to get back to that field, that kind of team? Well, listen, it starts with stability across the board, but mainly that means at the top. And we got to give this new front office, this new regime, an opportunity. I think they got some good young pieces. I don't know how Chris Paul was playing you there. He was playing you for that drive. Now, they've got 
is basically gave you the lane. Should have been an end one. for Middleton. Middleton hits them both. Suns leading by seven. Booker looking around. That's good from Paul on the assist by Booker. Good setup. Booker's got three assists in the game. Pretty much got to the rim almost uncontested. finds DiVincenzo. Middleton outside. Off target with his three. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Crowder, the pass to Booker. Goes in, goes up Tough luck. That's more than 50 50 balls they got to have. They want to win this game. Trapped in ball loose. They pick it right up for a layup. Uh. Suns leading by 11. The pass to Paul. Kicks it to Galloway. Charge up top. Defended by DiVincenzo. Two points. Wow. And the Suns lead by 13. Yeah, Middleton's going to have a high usage rate in this game. Just to keep the team afloat. You might see maybe 40 attempts from him in this game. That's tough off the front of the rim. Yeah, this, this could get bad quick. Oh, nice move. I was just about to call you out, too. Where are you at? You have got to get yourself in order. They need your offense. Shooting almost 70% from the field. One of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that oh lord so he's going out of the game how are they going to keep this up couldn't keep it up with him sure ain't gonna keep it up without him where are they gonna find the offense Free throw drops for Paul. Well, there was a decades period of time where Chris Paul was simply stated the best point guard in the league. Well, Holiday, you're no forced mistake. to do this something is now. Off the this is a terrible lineup. Such a long time, he has played a significant role in the okay, players. Lopez. Maybe not, huh? For the players at large, and I have such admiration for it. And here is Paul. Following the three from Brook Lopez. Double team on Paul. Watch the guy underneath. Divincenzo. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Divincenzo's got his second bucket of the game to go. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Ball against Holiday. Taken away by Holiday. Still. Push the ball. 
Got P.J. in the corner. Outside out of the Kumbo. To the inside. And under the Kumbo, slams it in. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now here's Paul. He's got eight. Tries it for 19. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a oh, nice spin move, Holiday. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Get Their yourself going. Is starting to show. Ball with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensive. Ball outside. Pass to Bridges. Just five on the clock. You need some help. It's enemies a very efficient five for six on the game. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. So willing to give it up to an open guy. Passes it to Ivan Kumbo. Here's Tucker trying to get open as well. Tucker can't get it to go. And so it's Crowder with it. They'll bring it up for the Suns. Not loose and stolen by DiVincenzo. Now the Bucks moving it up. Holiday with the ball. Tucker can't get it to go. Sun clean by 12. Galloway taking his time. Trying to get open his crowd. Galloway. Taking right down in the woodshed. Put some work in it. by Crowder. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Bridges shot. Good. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now, here's Lopez. He's got five, and he gets the ball. Right. You have to wrap. I'm not going to lie, at first I was like, Lopez, what the hell are you doing? Trying to take eight and one-on-one -on -one from the three-point line? Then he ends up making it all the way to the rim with the and one. Payne, he's checked in for Langston Galloway. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Teague's checked in. This is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from Milwaukee. You're making it way too tough for yourself. Way too tough. Now here's pain. Y'all just match up. Suns moving the ball around. He had a nice open look right there. I mean, we got a counter to everything y'all do on defense. Bridges totally ready to get the shot off in catch and shoot situations. Nicely done. And Tucker kicks to DiVincenzo. The pass to Holiday. And it's off the back rim. No good. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And Teague has it in the corner. Oh, good on the triple. Suns lean by 15. Now the feed, the ball. Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook. Got to be careful. 17-point lead here. Pass to Tucker. Outside Holiday. Pass to T. To the inside. Six on the shot clock. The block. Came over with the help. Is that a premium? I don't think anyone was catching him on that play. That is unbelievable. Now here's Teague. And stolen by Payne. And up the court from the Suns on the break. Yep, that one goes in there. Balls got 14 points for the game. 21 point lead. Think that's a good time for a time out. Tucker finds D. 
DiVincenzo. Holiday to stop the run. It's good from long range. Made it bad. He's got seven points here in this quarter. And you have to be right up on Holiday. When you're not, he's ready to take those quick shots. Paul passes to Aiton. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And the Suns lead by 20. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Holiday. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Bridges got his fourth rebound in this one. Indoors, Mikel Bridges got two national titles in the three seasons at Villanova. Got better each and every year. And think about in his junior season, he becomes one of only eight major conference players in college basketball history to average one block and one and a half steals while also shooting over 40% from three-point range. Boy, that is the perfect resume for a 3 and D wing. Middleton can't get it to go. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Push the ball. Y'all need something so early and quick. It up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Teague with a clean look. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Phoenix leading by 20. Here's Crowder, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Go get the ball. Just don't block it and look at it. Good slice, T. Good job attacking those restricted Where areas is the defense? What every NBA team is looking for. Don't matter what y'all do on offense, you can't stop anybody. Aiton, the pass to the run. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I think you have to be cautious when guarding Jay Crowder. He excels at using his body shooting to get Phoenix. these calls. The Sun shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Let's not forget, Jay Crowder is a former second round draft pick. This guy has made his bones in the NBA by adding toughness to every team he's played on. Sharch has checked in for Phoenix. Bobby Porters has checked in for Milwaukee. He hits the second from Milwaukee. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Middleton against Bridges. And that one, good. This guy is a silky smooth operator. On offense, Milton can score effectively. Yeah, he's the only one they got to worry about. That's it. Here's Payne. Booker with no one around, and he's good on the three ball. Too good. Booker's got six points in the quarter. Well, this guy has been efficient. Too good. All night. That IQ has been on display. Here's Teague. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Teague's got six. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Booker the pass to Bridges. Crowder with it. Lopez covering. Crowder kicks to Booker. Down to five on the shot. Yeah, Booker understands how to navigate his way to the paint, and he's not going to shy away from contact. Nicely done to pick up the foul. The Suns have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good booking. Well, Devin Booker has proven to be a capable shooter from every spot on the floor, including the free throw line. This guy has become a must watch. Good on both. 29 seconds left to play here in the half. 
outside T. Seventeen seconds left to play in the first half. It's the defense right at the rim. They have struggled to score inside in this game. But Bridges throws it down. Middleton outside. T for three. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for 81 59. A complete runaway early. He's been a major threat from three point range. Have time and we'll be back with the second half. Everybody, so far a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He had 25 points, five assists, and one rebound. He came in with something to prove tonight after having a very tough outing in their last game. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Simply a special scorer. Booker. <laughs> This guy's talking stuff. And we've seen this guy drop 70. That's right, 70 in a game. And he does it with a wide array of skills and constantly. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. The big issue to address is low energy, low effort on the glass. And let's take out there with a whole different attitude. The final score can look like him. UGLY. He ain't got no alibi. He's ugly. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. You just love the patience in that first half. Second half and so much to be done. You know, as a coach, on Milwaukee Bucks side. But it's up to the players to look at Devin Booker. This guy has done just that. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jake Crowder on now the they got Tucker trying to run Vince offense. Ball in at the point guard position. Middleton made that one as his seventh of the contest. Seven for 15 from the floor. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Booker against DiVincenzo. Here's Paul. That one good for two. Paul's got 16 points. Well, you'd think because of his frame, it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance, but this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. Now, here's Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's I need to celebrate. Just get back, play some defense. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. And here comes Push the it. Man, Holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Often it's with his scoring, but right there, making a play for someone else. Booker against Middleton. Let's start running a double team at him. Booker left side. Goes back up. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. I'll tell you, when DeAndre Ayton is looking to score, he is a handful. Forces the defense into a compromising situation. Phoenix shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Two. Two. The first free throw is good. Well, the number pick in the 2018 NBA draft DeAndre Ayton is going to be a feared big man for years to come and 
and he can't hit the second. Bucks trail by 19. Fade away. Ooh, the double touch. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Okay. That one on eight. Yeah, I just love the activity of fireball of energy. Tucker earning be nice to try to get him out of the ball game. And I like what he did at the line. Tucker, I'll go ahead and take a split with you for five bucks. Since I didn't have any bets placed in that first half. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. No, make no mistake, guys. One of the more effective second round picks we have in the NBA. Tucker provides a steady diet of production. Good and you would get them both. But I agree Nine, with you. Ball. You badly He's need them. Oh, my. Almost a facial without an appointment. How did he get that up at the rim? I don't know. Well, make no mistake, Crowder has got great strength inside. The defense can get physical. It doesn't matter. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. Seventy-eight percent. I'm not gonna get desperate and just bet you. First free throw is good. And both free throws good from Crowder. Here's Middleton. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. And then Booker almost identical for the attempts and points. Go finally play some defense. Has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Now here's Middleton, 25 points in the game. Just five to shoot. DiVincenzo kicks to Lopez. Had the shot early and just passed it up. The Bucks getting another chance here. On the wing, Holiday. Defended by Paul. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. in two from the line that time and even though they're down they are putting on a show at the free throw line all finds bridges here's crowder passes it to paul back to crowder and crowder is it in there's a level of floor awareness that has always been an eight to chris paul what a pretty find and there's the pass to tucker Middle's open. All we need is a cutter. 
Bridges with the board. Bridges got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And it's blocked. Well, statistically not the most imposing shot blocker, but he gets every bit of that one, did Tucker. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. The Suns making a change here. Galloway has checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Antetokounmpo has checked in for Chris Middleton. And so here's Phoenix. They lead by 17. And it's Good defense. And they get it back. Got to stay with it. It's a rebound. Right in Lopez's face. How much confidence DeAndre Ayton plays the game with. This is especially so on the offensive end. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Now, here's Tucker. Inside, here's DiVincenzo. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. DiVincenzo's got 10 points. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And Aiton throws it down. This is the kind of damage DeAndre Aiton can do if he gets the right positioning. Nicely done. Holiday looking over the floor. Ah, uh, he's in there playing with it right and two. Here's Galloway. And a great he's assist. got it. Assists in the game. Here's Holiday. He's got 13. Outside out of the Kumbo. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. And here's Brooklyn from the off. Another three for Phoenix. Devin Booker just going at his own speed, not rushing anything, just waiting for the offense to come to him. Oh my, that was a tough shot. 15 points in the game. Well, there's an unpredictability to his. And it felt like every shot's been that tough. Another reason why they're down so big. Tough shots and no defense. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Timeout called the Bucks. And no doubt, coach wants them to shore up. Their interior defense. I think right now they're giving you call a hundred timeouts in this quarter. Ain't gonna stop this train from moving. So is this what it's going to be like? A blowout in game one of the finals? It could happen. No Giannis. I mean, Phoenix together. They are together. They are healthy. Play as a team. Got a legitimate superstar in Devin Booker. Floor General and Chris Paul. And shooters all over the floor. Look at him. Can't catch a break. That's his first foul. All Forbes was doing is grabbing the rebound. They call a foul on him. Because who was that? Because Payne hit the floor? Got 
and it's the Suns ball. Get down big on the road, man. You can't expect to get any calls. Now, here's Bridges, guarded by Tucker. Down low. Now look at this. The shot is good. Big miscommunication. Found, yeah, miscommunication. Found the mismatch. Takes advantage. And, and that's one. typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. The Suns have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Shooting one. Milwaukee's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Teague. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Well, that's just great body control from Teague on display. He's so good at anticipating the contact and going up into it. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Teague. This is why Teague is such a valuable player. You know, he's a solid shooter from anywhere, so he's able to space the defense. He can, with his handle, get inside the paint. There's a lot to like about Jeff Teague. And so T gets two free throws. Now Payne. 106 to 80. 435 remaining in the third quarter. Plays it up and banks it in. And defensively, guys, they've been unable. They're showing no effort in getting back in this game. Look at this. 64% shooting by the Suns from the field. Dishes it to T. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. How about that determination from Jeff Teague? I'll tell you what, lean frame doesn't mean he's not capable of bringing the physicality. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Payne. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Payne's got six. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Outside T. Now the dish to Forbes. And the three off target. Phoenix has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Payne kicks to Bridges. Now the pass to Galloway. Puts it up. Offensive rebound. And finished off by Kaminsky. It's possible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about Just not looking good. Level, this team right now feeding off his energy. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. Now here's Payne, team covering. Floats it up for Sharich. Well, to me, these are exactly the shots the coaching staff wants Dario to take, and you can see why with these results. 
And here is Teague. He's got 10. Rebounded Tough by shot. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Yeah, Milwaukee just now, here's Payne. can't get anything six. going. Beyond the arc. But they're hitting everything. Everything under the sun. <laughs> How you like that one? <laughs> they hit everything under the sun. If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Block that right at the tip of tip of the point of contact. Milwaukee's gotten the three point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Forbes the pass to Portis. And the layup falls. Portis has got his second bucket. And not relying at all on the three point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here's Payne. Here's Galloway. Another three for Phoenix. And that's back to back. Hallelujah. It's raining threes. A little bit. Pass to Forbes. Back to T. One fourteen left in the third. Back to Portis. Five on the clock. Shoots the three. And there's the foul. We'll go on P.J. Tucker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Crowder, he's checked in for the Suns. Carter comes in for Langston Galloway. The Bucks also with the sub. Chris Middleton's checked in for Antetokounmpo. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. And it's Carter penetrating, and that one drops. Carter's got his first points in this one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to They're take those high get the finish. They get it again. 60s in field goal percentage. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And this is Jeff Teague's go-to shot. I mean, he's a deadly three-point shooter who never hesitates. To the wing right side. Sharich right side. Kaminsky, the pass to Payne. Here's the teardrop. That one, no good. And Teague's got the ball here for the Bucks. Seconds are winding down. Middleton. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Kaminsky's got six rebounds in the game. And the best Why not? Why not? That's Jay Crowder demonstrating how strong he is. He's dominating the defense with his ability to play through contact. The Suns have shot nine of 11 at the free throw line. Free throw, good, Crowder. Here's Antetokounmpo, makes it off the glass. And how about the effort? You, you did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring. Yeah, it's so bad they didn't heal Giannis, and he's out there getting a piece of the action. Into the break. From the field, they have They're doing that bad. Shooting. That's what... And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. I'm and 
with the fourth quarter upon us. Time is running Here out we go. Last quarter. Phoenix shooting 65% an outstanding offensive display from them. That's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar comes back to play for these Bucks in his fourth quarter. I don't see a comeback. Come on, Porters. There's other things you can argue about in this game than you not. I mean, I agree with you a little bit. You kind of did get all ball. But you can mark this up to terrible defense throughout this game. Terrible defense. Poor selection of shots. I mean, we can credit that to the defense if you want to. If not, that's fine. But I would want to credit to the defense and just saying we're shooting bad shots out there. And that one falls from Sharich. You know, I think the versatility Sharich provides is big in today's NBA. This guy can play the three and the four. He can shoot from anywhere. He can also hit the glass. Very good passer. There's a lot to his game. Sharich nails a ball. Here's Milwaukee now. Here's Connaughton. Aston Warren. Headshot off. So Phoenix will take it the other way. And Carter has it in the corner. Misses the three. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Alvin, and the actor go on and on. And the beat goes on. Beat goes on. Finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment. But the fact that we're all still close and stay in contact. Uh, man, what an awesome I apologize for the singing. It's that type of game. Uh, we got to keep the fans in the building. Personalities, man. It was a different era back then. Uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for Johnson. Porter's with the and one. One shot. Free throw, good, Portis. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Kaminsky finds more. On the Nakumbo against Johnson. Passes it to Carter. Five to shoot. Back to Johnson from outside the arc. Anazan Nakumbo grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. That one off the back iron and out. Phoenix has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Craig. Feeds it to Johnson. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Great chemistry between two teammates. Love the passing. I don't know if they're going for 180 tonight Outside, on the scoreboard or not. But uh, Over Johnson. And gets they're the flirting game. with it. So strong. 150 really shouldn't be hard to get. Since entering the league, helps him absorb the contact. Here's Craig. Here's more. Lays it up off the glass. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Dishes it to Giannis. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Cloak loose. And the pass to Connaughton. shot and Portis finishes inside well just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in and more kicks to Craig 
Johnson on soccer. Moore outside. There's the triple. It's hauled in by Giannis. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Here's Connington. Oh, that's no, you thought you had it, didn't you? Oh, no. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Going for that shot in that situation is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Pass to Nora from deep. My. But they get it there. And How Takumbo. deep he was when he shot that? By Antetokounmpo. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose. Yeah, football. good dunk. Let's go. You're only down 33. Pass to Kaminsky. Shoots over Portis. Oh, my. It goes down. He took him to work. That's old Kevin McHale style right there. The footwork with the turnaround. Passes it to Giannis. With the fadeaway. Portis, great positioning on the footback. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. More with it. Pulls it up. It's rebounded by Portis. Moore came in just shooting the ball. He ain't wasting no time at all putting him up. Teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Moore finds Kaminsky. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Johnson against out of the Kumbo. Johnson, the pass to Carter. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Carson. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Outside Portis. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Frank Kaminsky picks one up. Shooting from Milwaukee. Bobby Portis at the line for two. Shooting two. Free throw, good, Portis. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Suns have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. Four outside. He dishes it to Johnson. Carter outside. And just miss after miss right now. For Milwaukee, they've gone 6 of 13. So just about 46% on their field goal attempts are in the court. And they double up Giannis. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. And the Bucks with possession here. Outside Portis. Shot clock at six. Kaminsky with the double team. Stolen. And Kaminsky with a clear path to the hoop. Taking a while to get there. And that's going to be a flagrant foul. But yeah, that, that's a frustration yeah, flagrant there. That's exactly what happens in blowouts. 
in harm's way as much as you just saw him do there glad they you asked me bobby favorite. shouldn't even right, be in the game right now all over they weren't gonna let him off the hook that time they call him crazy eyes for a reason the boy is loco he is loco the free throw drops for Kaminsky. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And the Bucks may get a change here. Onto the Kumbos check in. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Over in the corner, out of the Kumbo. No good on the three. Phoenix has gone ice cold from three point land 0 4 since the start of the final quarter. There's the pass to Moore. Here's Craig. All sorts of time, and he hits the jump shot. Milwaukee's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. They get a hand out of bounds. It, and that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And I'm back him in, double team. Didn't make him pay. To get the ball inside, the three pointer hasn't been there for them like it was in that first half. The shot's good from Clark. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Now to Hansa Takumbo. That one's good from the corner. Every time he hits a jump shot, I'm a little surprised. He just don't look like he can shoot. Johnson dishes to Moore. No good from outside. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. with the ball and it's Johnson picking him up and the Kumbo and the call on the shot that sends him shot his own shot and got it back and they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half second chance points are starting to add up for them and they can use every one of them Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Suns. Craig can't get it to go. It's Adetokounmpo on the wing. Right wing. Aston Morrow. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And the Kumbo inside. Johnson on him. 
Moore with the steal. Passes it to Craig. And here is Kaminsky. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got rebound number five here tonight. And the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis' height, it's really impressive. Now Carter. Clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. The line for your sons, Devon Carter. Two shots. This is torture. I'm pretty sure everybody's waiting to get out of this arena. This has been a bloodbath. left in the fourth. The kick out to Andre de Kumbo. Out to the right wing. Here's Nora. And a great assist by Good Andre de as that one goes in. Nora's got himself on the board with three there. We need about really ten more of those in a row without Phoenix scoring. Get back in this one. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Milwaukee's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Rebounded by Moore. The sun shooting is beautiful right now. 60% for the game. Pretty much everyone out there has been stroking it. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the sun. You know, their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And, and that was working all game long. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Devin Booker. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from this dropping. This match. Him. That one falls. And, and to me, they this hit that one, but it was a bell out. Giannis jump shot keeps the opponent honest. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Here's Craig. Carter up top. Five on the clock. Now the pass to commence. Fader. Fed up. And that one goes long. And the Bucks with possession here. Here's onto Takumbo. Craig pulls it in. No good, and we winding down. Here's more. Yeah, there's no need to. We're going to burn the tape on this one. There's no need to look at the stat sheet on this game. This is the one you just scrap it. I'm pretty sure Milwaukee is going to do the same thing. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just you can hit the like button or the thumbs down on this one. From an I wouldn't even be mad at you. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now let's catch up Leave with a comment. By from the All right, Dave. Show your disgust in this blowout. Thanks, Kevin. For game Chris, it one. seemed like you really wanted to set the tone tonight, and you really wanted this game to go through you. What was the focus? Subscribe if you haven't. Just trying to be aggressive. You know, my teammates going to follow me not only on the offensive but we'll scrap end, it but on the defensive one. end. So hopefully it just gives us a little momentum. Well, you built on it, and you got the job done when you had to. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. We'll catch y'all on the next broadcast. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Joysburg, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest this of our This is Goody Mo Gaming. Sports crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you. And we out of here. We'll see you next time. Peace.